Very respectable master, there is a knock upon the portal of our temple. It is the knock of a companion. Who is this companion? Who is foolish enough to penetrate into our sacred place? Does he intend to insult our sorrows? Brother First Warden, demand of him his name and see what he wants. Venerable Brother Tyler, would you see who knocks at the portal of the temple and demand of him his reasons for intruding? Who knocks at the portal of our temple, and what is it that you hope to find? Very respected master, brother of companion. But we surprised at the entrance of our temple. He approached to us again. He appeared to us again with profound meditation. And that is why, in place of the hunt and punishment, we have brought him to you. Could this be the one guilty of the murder that we deplore? What does he hope to find in this place, and what are his intentions? Uh, Brother Companion Chak, encouraged by the testimonies of satisfaction of the masters, has hopes of obtaining an augmentation of his salary, a compensation for his zeal and labors. He has climbed the first two rungs of the ladder, the first stop at three steps, the second at five steps. Brother Grand Expert and Venerable Master, introduce this companion to our temple so that we may interrogate him. It will be unfortunate for him if he had the audacity to have been lying to you. <coughs> Her backwards, yes. Oh, okay. face turned back to the face of this. Companion, would you give us your age, profession, and place of work? I have seen five years, and I am a companion mason. Among the masons who erected the temples of Egypt, my labors are carried out in the chamber of companions. Are you well aware of the demand that you have made, and are your hands and conscience clean? Most venerable master, here are my hands. See in the palm, the heart of my mother, and it is pure. It has been weighed this up. Upon the balance of truth, and found to be pure. <laughs> because the water lives, I am never soiled. The flame, intelligent, I am never out of breath. The energies, never have I abolished them. The light, never have I violated it. The divine luminescence, never have I masked it. And the beautiful, never have I offended it. I have been faithful to my regent, the El Bayim of Truth, whose star flames at this moment before my eyes. Never have I altered the truth, because I am pure. The hardness of the heart, this is a position that is unknown to me. Fresh water. I have given to the thirsty wheat to the hungry and clothes to those who are naked. Therefore, in this temple of truth, before this tribunal of truth, sustained by my matron, the dame of Versailles, whose star flames before my eyes, may the heart of my mother become weak. I am pure, very respected man. My brother, a great trial strikes the Egyptian mason, and it is masons that we suspect to be the authors of this horrible crime. We have been betrayed by those that we have showered with kindness. This is why we hold all companions and our suspicions in this regard. Most venerable master, I have presented to you the heart of my mother in my palm. My guarantor is the god of the path, chief of the western mountains, conductor of the moral, morals beyond life, and my matron is the dame of Versailles, regent of Thebes, I invoke the spirit of my creator, through whom I am born, the stable son of stability, the concealed of the concealed, in order that the word may become flesh by virtue of the just voice, the coming forth of the hawk, I come as the phoenix. Venerable Brother Grand Expert, would you examine the hands of the candidate? 
and bring me her apron in order that I may assure myself that she is pure and without spot. <coughs> Master, the hands of the candidate appear to, be, appear to be pure and without spot. <coughs> See also her apron. Your apron carries hmm. well, no trace of soil. Hmm. Hmm. Brother Grand Expert, assist the candidate to face the east. <coughs> 